بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, the, uh, This is section 1.3 and it's about linear functions uh, This is the definition of the linear function f of x equals ax plus b So uh, usually the linear function uh, can be written in this form and you notice that x has power 1 and y has power 1. a, b are just constants, numbers. Let us start by the intercepts. There are two x, there are two intercepts, the x intercept and the y intercept. To find the x intercept, we just put the y 0. And to find the y-intercept, we just put the x zero. Okay, so set x equals to zero to find the y-intercept, and set y equals to zero to find the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts are the points in which the graph intersects the x-axis. Okay. So the intersection points between the graph and the x-axis are called x-intercepts. So for example, uh, if this is a graph of a line, this is the point where the graph intersects the x-axis. So this is the x-intercept. And here, the point where the graph crosses the y-axis is called the y-intercept. For example, Find the intercepts and the graph the following. If you put to find the x intercept, let us put y zero. So we will have 3x equals 9. Or when we divide by 3, x would be 3. So that's the x intercept. And the y intercept, if you put x zero, y would be 9. So the y intercept is 9. You can write the point here, it would be 3, 0, and the point here, 0 and 9. And then you can 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is the y-intercept, and the x-intercept is 3, 0. And you connect these two points to sketch the graph of the line. So this is how we graph the line another example now here if you if you, to find the x intercept if you put y zero then you will have x equals to zero but if x is zero then y also is zero so i have the point zero zero so the y intercept if you put x zero also y would be zero so this will give you one point which is zero zero so this line passes by the point zero zero and the x-intercept is zero and the y-intercept is zero to graph the line i need another point so you can do whatever you like if i replace y by one for example then x would be four so I will have the point 4 and 1 because x is 4 and y is 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the point 4 and 1. So this line passes by the point 4 and 1 and the point 0, 0. So you can sketch the graph of this line. Now, the x-intercepts are also called the zeros of the function okay the zeros of the function because y is zero when y is zero the function is zero so that's why they are called zeros of the function the definition of the slope of the line that passes by these two points is given by this delta y over delta x difference of y over difference of x y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
and we denote the slope by the letter M. Okay. It means the change in Y over the change in X. So if these are two points, this is the change in X, okay, X2 minus X1. And this is the change in Y. So in fact, we are dividing this over this. So you can see that the slope of this line is less than one because the change in Y is less than the change in X. To find the slope of the line passing through these two points, let me call this point x1, y1, and this point x2, y2. So the slope would be 3 minus 1, y2 minus y1, over 4 minus negative 2. So it would be 2 over 6, or 1 over 3. To find the slope of this line also, you can call this point x1, y1 if you like, and this one x2, y2, you will get the same answer. So 0 minus minus 3 in this case, over 3 minus 4. So you will have 3 over negative 1, which is negative 3. So that's the slope. If the slope is positive, the line is increasing. If the slope is negative, the line is decreasing. If the slope is zero, the line is horizontal. This is called a horizontal line. And if the slope is undefined, the line would be a vertical line. So you can understand this. Uh, you know the line from its slope, whether it's vertical, horizontal, or increasing or decreasing. Two lines are parallel if they have the same slope, if their slopes are equal. So the two parallel lines have the same slope. The perpendicular lines, the angle between them is 90, so they don't have the same slope. But if you know the slope of one of them, then the slope of the other one is negative 1 over m. So it's negative reciprocals. The slopes are negative reciprocals. If you multiply their slopes, the product is negative 1. If you have m1 and you want to find m2, so it is negative 1, m2 would be negative 1 over m1. Find the slope of the line through these two points. I think you can solve it now. We solved two exercises about it. If a line has slope m equals to 0, then the line is horizontal. If a line has an undefined slope, then the line is vertical. Suppose that line 1 has slope m15. Line 2 has slope m2. If line 1 is perpendicular to line 2, then M2 would be negative 1 over 5. If line 1 is parallel to line 2, then M2 would be 5, because they will have the same slope. Now these are the equations of the line. This is called the point slope form, because x1, y1 is a point on the line and m is the slope of the line. So if you know the slope and the point, you can write the equation of the line in point-slope form. This is a question. Write the equation for the line that passes through this point. So this is x1, y1, and has the slope, which is m. So I know the slope and the point, so I immediately can write the equation y minus minus 2 equals m times x minus 1. So that's the equation of the line written in point slope 4. Undefined slope. Undefined slope, the line would be vertical. If the line is vertical, then it's this is a vertical line. Vertical line. 
So if the line is vertical, it has the equation x equals to b, where b uh, is the x coordinate. So here, if the line is vertical and it passes by this point, then x is 1. So the line x equals to 1 passes by this point and has an undefined slope. Point 2, 3 is also on the line. So this is another point, x2, y2. And I have x1, y1. Two points so I can find the slope. Delta y over delta x. So 3 minus minus 2 over 2 minus x1, which is 1. So the slope would be 5 over 1, 5. The slope is 5, and y1 is negative 2, so it would be plus 2, and x1 is 1. So this would be the equation of the line. You can use the other point, okay? You can write y minus 3 equals 5 times x minus 2. And it would be the same line. If you solve it for y, you will get the same equation. So the vertical line always has equation x equals a. That's the vertical line x equals 1, for example. And the slope is undefined. The horizontal line, the slope is 0, and it always has the equation y equals 2b. So this is a horizontal line, y equals 1. The second form, the slope intercept form. Here, m is the slope, and b is the y-intercept. Okay, the y-intercept is b. Because if you put x0, you get y equals b. So this is another form. So if you write this equation, for example, in the point, in the slope intercept form, then you have 5x minus 5, and you take 2 to the other side. So y would be 5x minus 7. That would be the equation of the line. So even if you take this point and write the equation y minus 3 equals 5 times x minus 2, then if you write this equation in the slope intercept form, then you have 5x minus 2 times 5 is 10, and then you take 3 to the other side, so it would be plus 3, so you will have 5x minus 7, which is again the same equation. Write the slope intercept form of the equation of the line with slope, so the slope is given, and the y-intercept is given, so immediately the equation is y equals half times x plus b or minus 3. Find the slope and the y-intercept of this line. Well, to find the slope, which is m, and the y-intercept, which is b, I should solve this equation. I should write it in this form, or I should solve it for y. So if you take x to the other side, and then you divide by 2, then the slope is negative half, and the y-intercept is 4. Graph the equation in this part. I can graph the equation of the line if I have two points. I have only one point, uh, so I can find the two points from this equation, and I can sketch the graph. But also I can graph the equation if I have the slope and the y-intercept. Because the y-intercept is 4, so this is the y-intercept of this line. So I know one point on the line, which is 0, 4. And now the slope is negative half. And the slope is delta y over delta x. So if you take the negative 
with the numerator so delta y would be negative 1 and you go 1 unit down downwards and then 2 units to the right to reach another point on the line and you graph the line you can take the negative sign with the denominator and then go two units to the left and one unit up and you will reach another point okay let us say that this is the graph of course the line is not is not accurate because i am i am graphing by my hand okay but if you go two units here one unit up you should reach another point on on the line okay so you can graph the line always by using the intercept the y intercept and the slope write the equation of the line that has the slope and passes through this point so I can use this form y minus minus 6 or y plus 6 equals m times x minus x1. If you memorize the formulas, you will be always, it will be easy to answer the questions. What are the slope and the y-intercept of this line? Well, if I write it in this form, then I will have the slope and the y-intercept. So if I take 4y to the left hand side and x to the right hand side and then divide by 4 then I will find that the slope is negative 1 over 4 and the y-intercept is 1 over 4. So finally, this is the general form of the equation of the line x power 1, y power 1 this is the point slope form and this is the slope intercept form this is the equation of the vertical line and this is the equation of the horizontal line thank you very much and i hope you enjoyed the linear functions